Hello, and welcome to another tutorial on how to make a game in XNA. And uh, right now, there's this random splash screen of Campstasia Studio, and I don't know why. But, anyways, hopefully, it should go away. And in the last tutorial, we're going over making an animation script for our object class, and we're actually going to continue that in this tutorial. So, right now, I'm just going to pause the video so the splash screen will go away. Never mind. Okay. So, okay. So, um, right here we just, uh, uh, we've just finished creating the, how the image index will increment. So, uh, let's go ahead and test it, make sure everything is okay. There's not any weird bugs. Okay, as you can see, it, it looks like it's freaking out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fix that. Okay, actually let's let's uh let's let's do this. Negative image index. So what this will basically do is it's gonna it increment by negative image index, which is this, so it's basically just going to null itself to zero. And the reason we want that is so it starts at the beginning of the sequence. And so if we go ahead and test it again, it looks like everything is fine. Okay, good. Uh, now let's go ahead and make an animation class. So I'm going to go over here, right click, add class. Oops. Okay. And I'm going to call this class uh, box. Okay, so. Our box class is going to be much like our wall class. So I'm just going to copy our wall, go to our box, paste that, just name it box. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so uh, we're going to want to have a different sprite. So the sprite I want for this is box strip 6.png. Okay, so that will be our animation sprite, and I'm going to change the image number. Oops. Actually, let's go ahead and go back to our object sprite. Uh, we have to set the variables so we can access them. So instead of just saying int image number, we're going to say protected int image number. If you don't know what protected is, uh, protected is basically just like private or it's basically, yeah, just like private, it cannot be accessed by anyone except for the class and the classes that inherit this class. So this is a child of the object class, so this class cannot access that. So that's why we wanted to make it like that. So image number will equal uh, six because uh, there's six sprites in there. Okay, good. Uh, that should be good. Play. Let's see how it does. Oh, I forgot to add it. So uh, let's go ahead and go into our items class and just copy one of these. And I'm going to add a box. Uh, uh, right there, diag diagonally from spawn. So let's see how it does. Okay, we got an error. Oh, that's because the name was off. I, I accidentally in, uh, included the extension. So if you didn't know, you don't have to include extension in XNA. Uh, we'll do it automatically for you. So as you can see, uh, look, our animation is going okay. You can see our box is animating, but it's, it's animating extremely quickly, and we don't want that. So, exit out, and image speed, actually I'm going to make image speed protected too. So, same thing with image number, I'm just going to go protected, float image speed, and I'm just going to go to image speed equals, uh, let's say 10 times slower at least. Let's, let's try that. Oh. We have to make, we have to just put an F at the back of it, so 
to tell C sharp that this is not a not a double, it's a float. Yeah, I know, it's it's sort of dumb. But as you can see, look, our sprite is animating. Pretty cool, huh? But in this situation we don't really want our box to animate. We just want to change our image index depending on the HP of the box. So actually I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna set uh image speed to zero, zero F. And uh we're actually going to make it sort of like the wall to the man, so the man can't go through the box. Uh, so where I forgot where I put that code. I haven't done this in a while. I'll pause it, see where it is. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to make an inherit from wall. Let's see. So this box will basically be a wall. So oh darn it. Okay. Shoot. Okay, gotta think of something else. Okay, let's try something. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this collision method, and we're gonna make a different version of this method. So we don't have to change the name or anything. Uh, I'm just gonna put a bool here, and just name this uh, S. Okay, so just get rid of this part of this statement, and I'm just gonna put an or statement, statement, and put uh exclamation mark s will basically saying if s is false so th the reason why we're doing it, this is basically we're gonna say uh... actually we're gonna call this check solids check solids uh... yeah so basically if solids is actually you know what Sorry. Yeah, if check solids is set to false, it's going to check everything. Or else it's just going to check just only solids. And it's going to, it's exactly like the thing we turned. And it's not going to check if it's a, a certain type of object. So we can go back to our man. And instead of putting this new uh, wall in here, we can just put. Uh, true. So we do want to check for new solids. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Okay, let's go ahead and test it. And hopefully it will uh, block the crate. Or the man won't be able to go through the crate. So as you can see, I am not I am not able to go to pass through the crate and we're actually going to do the same thing for zombies so they aren't they won't be able to go through the crate oh gosh I don't know I think it's oh, what the heck is happening for some reason okay that that is strange oh I think there's some boxes I accidentally put here sorry guys uh, I accidentally stopped the recording. Uh, I apologize. So, uh, we're actually going to, I'm just going to actually double check uh, our items class, make sure we didn't put anything weird. Doesn't look like it. Uh, but I'm also going to make enemies respond to uh, those boxes differently, though. Differently. Uh, we want them to try to go through the boxes, so. Uh, the pathfinding will will see those boxes as walkable, but we want them still not to be able to step through there. So us, uh, actually, I'm going to go into our step two point. Uh, let's see, no, actually, yeah, if point distance uh, this direction. Okay, uh, where's point distance? Okay, yeah. Instead, we're going to make a uh, another method. Uh, we're gonna call it. Uh, yeah. What is happening? Oops. Yeah, the game is on. So, I'm just gonna say, let's see. Uh, private override 
move. Uh, actually, let's see. Hmm, what what should we name this? Uh, just say step forward. Step forward. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to give a return type. So step forward is going to just return void. It's not going to do anything. And what this is basically do doing is it's just like our object stepping forward right here. Or, uh, let's see, where's the enemy? Or our push to thing, except it's going to have an if statement. And this if statement is going to say, well, if there's nothing in your way, then you can push forward. Otherwise, you cannot. So the way we're going to do this is actually, I think, yeah, actually, you know what? We have already made this. Uh, it's this is statement right here. Yes, it's it's this right here. We've actually made this previously, but we removed it. So we just have to copy this code from our push to and with, with, yeah. So this is basically just predicting our next move, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's pretty much exactly like that. Uh. Yeah. No, actually, we could just get rid of this. That, that was a waste of time, sorry. And just enable this right here. Okay, so. Instead of making our speed there, we just put uh, push to uh, speed. Speed and the direction is direction. Oh, rotation. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, and we also want to check. We also don't want this. We actually want. We want to use our new method we created. So we just put true there to use it. So it checks for even creates so oh darn it I can't what that's a glitch okay seems like there's a bunch of bugs in it right now so uh, we'll go over fixing them in later tutorials so thank you for watching I appreciate a rating and I hope to see you in the next tutorial thank you